guys in this video i'm going to discuss about how to create user defined function with output parameter so at your first i'm going to write the query so at your writing create function and uh, here, let's give the function name form and here first the parameter the name going to take a so this should be input tab and your data tag number now here after going to take next variable so this should be output and your data tag number and here after going to take variable c so this should be input and output and data tag should be number so here taken three variable now here let's use return so this will return number and here after let's use is here after second and next here b e. colon equal to a plus 10 and here after c colon equal to C plus A. Now, here after going to return the value of C here. Close by semicolon and here let's use int. So, this is the query to get the one function with input and output parameter. So see at here previously I used input parameter. So this time input here out and here in and out. So let's execute and check. So at here function compiled successfully. Now here after select the function and refresh. So one function it's created and here you can check the parameter. So here this is the number here b number c number. Now here after I am going to execute this function. So next we need to execute. So add here write to declare. So tick there and here. So first variable taking x. So this should be number and here initializing the variable with the pin. Now next variable going to take y so this should be number and here going to take the value 25 and here next variable date and here type number and going to initialize with 5. Now here after let's use begin and here a small check. So here equal to form. So add here going to pass three parameter first x next y here after z. Now here after let's use dbms under a score output dot put underscore line. And here first going to print the value of x. So here going to write x equal to single quote here after double pipeline and concatenating the value with x. So here let's use single quote y equal to y single quote and concatenate thing with a small y. Now here after equal and here after let's use a z single quote z equal to single quote here going to pass z value. 
let's give some space and here going to use end now let's execute and check the output so add here getting the output 15 25 and z value 20 so add here the code is so add here i created the function one so add here a input time so add here oh, when i executed this so add here x y and z so x is a 15 y is a 25 z is a 5 so here after that call the function now control comes to this point so add here a is a 15 add here a receive x value is 15 and here b receive 25 and z or c receive 5 so return here so b equal to a plus 10 so a, will, a value is 15 15 plus 10 so that to add here 25 so b value add here 25 and here c equal to c plus a so c value add here c value this that receive z value is 5 and here a value a receive add here 15 so a receive add here so add here this is 15 25 and 5 so a receive add here 15 so this comes to this point so add here a receive 15 so 15 plus 10 b become b become 25 now here after about the c so c equal to c plus c equal to c plus so c receive add here c add here z value is now 5 so at third position that uh, here this point c value is now come 5 so add here 5 and a value is now add here 15 a value is 15 15 plus 5 so value come 20 Okay, so C value is now 20, so that return C value is 20. So add here this point A value is now 15 after calculating B value is 25, B value is 25 here and C value is 20. So this point, so this point that value is add here 15, 25, and 20. Now here after that display one by one, so A value is now 15 x value is 15, y value is 25 and z value is 20. So this is the way output it's coming. So add here no need to worry about the variable. So whatever the value, add here if you execute so x, y, z. So I've given the x, y, z value. So x value come 15, 25 and 5. So add here after that call the fun function. So control comes to this point. So because add here the first parameter a value is now add here that compare so this value is a this x value 15 that go to a and here this y value 25 so this will go to b and here or this z value is 5 so this will go to here here after that comes to return begin here after that do some mathematical calculation after that when the mathematical calculation over so finally whatever the value of x y z it's back here after that print so this print here x and y and z so this is the way we can create user defined function in oracle sql developer by using output and in output parameter so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you